Hello class, this is section 3.2 and we are going to discuss a problem of how to determine linear dependence by calculating constants. So we have three functions here, x squared, 3x minus x squared, and 5x. And we need to show that they are linearly dependent. The way to do this is to write down this form. So you have your three functions. Put a constant in front of each of them. So by the definition of linear dependence, if we can find c1, c2, c3 that solve this equation, but where c1, c2, and c3 are not all zero, then we are done. Because this means there's a, there's a non-trivial relationship between the three functions. The way we do this is that we group our terms. So we have an x squared and an x variable here. So we can group them that way. So we have c1 x squared plus minus c2 x squared. And we also have 3 c2 x plus 5 c3x. And we can group them together this way. So c1 minus c2 x squared plus 3c2 plus 5c3x equals 0. So we need both of these equations to be 0 in order for this entire equation to be 0. So our goal now is to solve this system of equations. So notice we have three variables but only two equations. This is good, which means we can give we can just invent another equation to make our lives easier. So we can just assume add another equation. You only have two, so we can add another one. That, let's just make our lives easier by uh, saying that, say, c1 equals 1. It doesn't have to be 1. I just picked this equation completely arbitrarily. One thing you want to do is that you want to pick a number that's not 0, because if it's 0, you might get the 0, 0, 0 solution, which you don't want. So let's just assume c1 equals 1. This is completely arbitrary. There's no magic to this. Then we can see that from the first equation, that c2 must equal to 1 as well. And then we use the third equation to show that 3 plus 5c3 equals 0, or c3 equals um, minus 3 or 5. So here we have it. We have c1, c2, and c3, which make the original equation 0 and such that c1, c2, c3 are not all 0. Now if you end up with 1, 0, or even 2 of the constant 0, that's fine, as long as not all of them are 0. And this is enough to show linear dependence.